Hello, my name is Jumar Hunsi. I work for Texas Instruments Low Power RF as a software tools designer. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use our smart RF evaluation boards without any RF knowledge. Everything is controlled by the PC. You don't even have to program the smart RF evaluation board at all. This is the user interface of the PC application. It's currently not connected to anything. It's just connected to a gateway, but there's no RF link between the remote control and the gateway. Now I'm going to switch on the evaluation board. A splash screen appears for the board, and now we're online. And we can start to operate the application. Let's tweak the top meter. You can see what happens. Let's push button 2. Let's operate the joystick. You can also operate the LEDs and make the LEDs on the EV change. If we'd seen it now, we would have seen that the, the yellow, yellow LED on the EV is left. You can also operate the LCD from the PC. So all in all, what you can see here is the application itself is completely contained on the PC. You don't have to do anything on the smart RF. 05 EB, or you don't have to do anything to the radio either. So, what's behind all this? Of course, there's a TILPRF radio, and there's a protocol, the Murphy protocol, which people who know simplicity will know about. It's the lower layer of simplicity. And there's a, an RPC protocol on top of Murphy, it's the remote procedure core, which is known from the internet world. And then you have a, you've got the PC application. It's written in C++ with a QT toolkit from Nokia. All the graphics is done by QT, which means this can be ported to Linux or Mac or even a Windows Mobile, if you like. It, it makes it all very flexible. And uh, the actual hardware here. The evaluation board is represented on the PC as a pure C++ object. Which means you can do whatever you do, you just do to the C++ object and things will happen on the uh, evaluation board. Vice versa, the C++ object will pick up anything that happens on the evaluation board. For instance, if you tweak the clock meter, a message will be sent to the PC saying, ah, the pocket has, but now has changed and it has the value so and so. And things will happen correspondingly. What this means, you can use, use the evaluation board, C++ class, as a plugin to any PC application without having to change any firmware on the EV or without having to know anything about RF at all. This demonstration shows you how easy RF can be. This, the accompanying software package will be available on the TI community by the end of Q1 2009. The following TI low power RF chips will be supported. CC1110, CC1111, CC2510, CC2511, CC2420, CC20 430, CC2431, and CC2520. The following protocols are supported. Murphy, 802.15.4, a light version that is, and not the least, Simplicity. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, go to the Low Power RF forum on the TI community.